Hey guys, welcome back to my first coin mining farm. My name is Kira and I am the Crypto Froggy. And uh, today I'd like to start a brand new series of projects. These projects are about running burst mining on single board computers or SBCs. I've got three videos planned for this series. The first one is going to be about Orange Pi. The second one is going to be about Raspberry Pi. And the third one is going to be about the Odroid. Uh, the Odroid is an octa-core SVC, and it's pretty cool and pretty powerful. I'm going to save that for last. So let's start with the uh, least powerful of them, and that is the Orange Pi. So what do you need to get started? Well, you're going to need the Orange Pi, right? Um, and you're going to need a power cable. Uh, this is the one for my cell phone. You can use a cell phone one that works just fine, or you can check my uh, description and there's a link in there for one specifically made for um, the pies. So you've got your cable. And you're going to need a micro SD. So this is an eight gigabyte micro SD card. I don't think I would recommend going any less than eight gigabytes. Um, and also when I purchased this off of Amazon, um, it came with these two things, which uh, are gonna be really handy, especially this USB one. Uh, so you'll just, Plug your card in there, and you put your SD card in there, and now you can use this to format the card with the operating system that you're going to use. Lastly, you're going to need your hard drive. This is the Seagate Expansion 8 terabyte. This is my preferred model just because it's the cheapest. Uh, it is an SMR drive, so it's slow to plot, uh, but once you've got it plotted, you're good to go. Um, so this is $150 right now. You can get it off Amazon. I've got my link in the description. Um, and it should come with the cables you need. Um, and it's pretty simple to set this thing up. Uh, you're gonna need an ethernet to plug into here. So if you don't have an ethernet cable or you don't have internet, you've got a problem. Uh, hopefully you've got those things. Um, you plug your hard drive into the only USB port and your power goes here in the back. Uh, SD card, there's an SD expansion slot right underneath here, and uh, that's all you need. So I've got the device plugged in. Um, we've got our SD card in the slot, and I've preloaded it with the uh, RMPN uh, release. Um, and I've plugged in the power, I've plugged in Ethernet cable, and I've plugged in the hard drive that we're going to use. And this hard drive again is already plotted. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to SSH in to this device and start compiling. So I am at my network router admin page and I'm just going to locate the device that we're going to connect to. So let's go ahead. There's so many things here. I already I want this set up as Orange Pi 2. And uh, if we just go to device info. Uh, we can see the IP address is 192.168.1.131. And this is the IP address that we're going to use to SSH to the device. So here's Putty. Uh, I'm on Windows right now, so I'm going to use Putty. So I'm just going to go and connect to our 192.168.1.131 and open. And now we can log in. So I've already set this one up, so it's not going to ask me for a password. When you set up your device for the first time, it's going to ask for a password. Okay, my password. So we're logged in. So now that we've connected with our Pi, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the steps that I took to set the device up. Uh, but I want to speed through them all. Uh, there's specific instructions in the uh, description, and it gives you all of the commands that you need to set up your device. <laughs> the video is a little bit different from uh, the commands that I gave you in the, in the description, uh, and that's because I made mistakes and I was trying things, um, but for the most part, those instructions should be good.
So that was a long time. Uh, that was about two hours of compiling and setup and installation and all those things. Uh, this little orange pie uh, has a hard time with that CPU intensive stuff. And, um, but it can do it. Uh, the things that make this work are the fact that we added swap space. Uh, the swap space is critical because the compiling requires a lot of memory and the 512 megabytes of onboard memory are not enough. The other thing that makes this work is we only use a single core to compile. When I was doing my tests, I noticed that if I tried to use multiple cores, the system would hang uh, and it, it couldn't compile completely. So I think you could probably get away with making on two cores, maybe three cores, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I would just stick with a single core and let it do its thing. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, let's take our configuration and run it. So, uh, oops, I forgot. I restarted the device, so I need to actually remount my uh, drive. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, it should be in memory. Please be in memory. There we go. So let's mount this. Bam. Bam. Cool. Okay. Oh, we should be good to go. So we're mounted. Now let's start the miner. Now we've got our drive mounted. So run that up H from our root. There we go. And we're mining. That's awesome. Go faster. <laughs> so actually, um, this is not the first time that I was able to get this miner running, obviously. I took a lot of experimentation. I have another Orange Pi actually, and it runs on uh, Debian Jesse. And that one was a lot harder to get running. I had to manually compile CMake, uh, and I had to manually compile Poco. Poco? Paco? I don't know. Uh, and that took hours. I spent so much time on that. Uh, so I noticed that when I used uh, Debian Stretch, it was much easier. Uh, and you'll see in my description uh, the instructions for building this miner. You'll see that I actually didn't have to make too many different things. Most of the work was done by Conan. If you're going to build this miner, uh, I would recommend using Debian Stretch because Debian Stretch has a lot less pitfalls to setting it up, especially during compiling. On Debian Jesse, I had to manually compile CMake and I had to also manually compile Poco. Uh, and that was just because, I, I don't know, it, it just wanted to fight me every step of the way. Debian Stretch is a lot easier, so I would definitely recommend Debian Stretch. I use the development build for my Orange Pi, uh, but maybe the stable one would work as well. One of the most important things for setting up the Orange Pi is to have that swap file You'll see uh, in the instructions that I have below that I put a two gigabyte swap file on the system before I started compiling all of the packages required. Uh, and this was because the Orange Pi only has that 512 megabytes of memory and that simply wasn't enough to support the compilation. Uh, so definitely do that. The other thing that you'll see is when you're running Conan and it's building your missing dependencies, uh, there will be a timeout. I just go ahead and restart Conan. Uh, if you guys get lost or you have any trouble, uh, check the instructions that I've included below. I've been as detailed as I possibly can and giving you guys some hints to get through problems. If you run into any more that I haven't covered in the instructions, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll try and get back to it as soon as I can, okay? So let's talk speed. I just restarted the miner and we can see that it starts out at around 28, 29 megabytes per second processing speed, uh, but it goes down to 23, 24, 25. Uh, and I have a feeling this is because of the heat throttling on the orange pie. Uh, it's not super terrible. And actually what's interesting is that this orange pie, which is my second orange pie, performs slightly better than my other one. This one is running Debian Stretch. My other one is running Debian Jesse. Uh, and actually has a heat sink on it. Uh, so I'm wondering if either the heat sink is causing issues 
or the operating system is better for some reason. Uh, I wouldn't expect that kind of a difference from an operating system change, but maybe that's the case. Um, this software on the Orange Pi is brand new, and my other Orange Pi is already a few months old. So I think it's important to have the, the latest uh, operating system on your Orange Pi if you're going to be mining with it. Um, now, the speed in, in perspective of mining, I think, is actually acceptable. Uh, the Orange Pi itself is only, you know, a $10, $20 uh, computer, uh, and you can mine an 8 terabyte hard drive with it, and I think that's pretty cool. It makes a great project. If you're going to be a small-time miner, I would definitely recommend doing something techy, hacky like this, because you learn something and um, it's fun. So if I was going to do multiple hard drives, I don't think I would use an orange pie. It's just going to be too slow. Already about a minute and a half for 8 terabytes is pushing it. Uh, you will maybe miss some deadlines uh, with that long of a mine. Um, so I would maybe recommend a 6 terabyte hard drive uh, if you're concerned about that. But I think it's hitting about in the zone where I want it to be considering what kind of system this is. So I'm pretty happy with it. So that's it for this project. I hope you guys found it interesting and maybe you learned something new. Um, I'm always learning stuff when I'm playing around with Linux and compiling stuff because, you know, I'm not a C programmer, a C++ programmer, um, but I have been learning a lot and it's been really fun. So I would recommend this project for anyone that wants to get their hands dirty and wants to create something cool. Uh, so if you guys have any feedback for me uh, or any comments or even questions about how to do this project, just leave it in the uh, comments below. And if you'd like to do this project, then see my description. I've put links together that link to Amazon for all of the products that you'll need to make this work. And by clicking those links, you're supporting my channel. And I really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're old fashioned, you can just send me some burst or Bitcoin. So anyways, thanks for watching everyone. And I will see you next time.